All right, go ahead. Right. Hey, uh, this is Luca from Team Jobber. So I just got back uh, from Seattle Regionals with my buddy Steve. And um, this is a 290 person regional and uh, I ended up winning. And I'm playing Pepe Magician. So uh, here's the list. So I played a uh, three juggler, three plush, one trick clown, one mirror conductor. I only wanted to play one because I really dislike drawing it, but I like to have it there to search. Uh, one hat tricker to make Nat Beast with uh, the level one reptile tuner. And it, this also outs Nat Beast. Uh, three Skull Corvette, uh, three Wisdom Eye, two Pulse, one Dragon Pit for the Magicians. Um, three Luster, this card. Um, and then the Reptile Targets, I played one Mask Million, one Gigabyte. People were starting to cut this, but I felt like I needed it to out Nat Beast. Nat Beast was just like the biggest pro problem we had when we were testing the deck. Uh, just because it's it's just so strong against the deck, you, you just can't do anything against it. Mm -hmm. uh, if they if they make Nat Beast Pleiades, then like this isn't an out, but it's they have to have like just the right combination of cards to do that. Right. And, then, and did you did you Nat Beast or did anybody Nat Beast you? Uh, no, nobody nobody Nat Beasted me at this tournament. But did you Nat Beast? I I Nat Beast pl I mean Nat Beast played these once against uh, the Pepe Mirror. Yeah, I saw that. And, uh, that was nice. Yeah, I was game three too, so it was it was broken. Uh, one part Naga. We decided to play this because, um, like, you, you, all all together we're playing um, other than this card three low scales. So you're um, people who like know the deck, good players that know the deck. They'll like pop off your low scales and then you'll just run out of. You'll literally not be able to pendulum summon later in the game. Uh, and then uh, the last reptile is the Palomura, the X Saber, level one reptile. Throwing it back? Yeah, <laughs> back to X Sabers. Uh, three Maxi. Uh, people have also stopped playing this card. I just think this card is way too good because um, going second maximizes on it, like puts them in a weak position, like in a compromising position so that you can um, make it easy. Easier for you to game them uh, going second. And then um, going first, this card's also really good because you make, you, you don't even have to make a, a huge board. Um, like, usually I made like Omega, uh, King of the Feral Limbs, or something like that. And then just to add, backing it with Maxi makes it so that they, they just second guess themselves on whether or not they want to push through your board or and, and give you a ton of cards. And they have to have game through that. Otherwise, you're just going to. Go off next turn and beat them. So I still really like Maxi. And then three wavering. This card needs to be banned immediately. Uh, three pendulum call. Um, a lot of I, I had four people playing the or three other people playing the same deck as me, and uh, some of them were saying that they didn't like pendulum call at three, but because they draw it with the magicians. But it never happened to me where I drew this plus two pulse and one dragon pit. Like that's just extremely unlucky. Um, so I, I think three is still definitely the way to go because that card's really good. Two instant fusion. This was really good because it just lets you, it's one card plays if you need it. Um, and then also with the, since we're only playing one mask chameleon later in the game, having instant fusion, zoning back mask chameleon, making Scarlight or Stardust is, is really good. Uh, two upstart, confess space for the third, uh, one foolish and then, uh, one treacherous. Um, we just have to play this card last minute just because we, like, really the the biggest problem card we had when we were playing was Nat Beast. So we just wanted cards that, this card going first, it makes it so that you can, you can set up a board and kind of, it's a defensive card, so you won't lose. Uh, and then also it outs Nat Beast. So it's also backs up your, your Nat Beast. Yeah, if you, you, if you Nat have Beast Nat Beast that. and you can't make, like, um... Nappy's Pleiades, this, this can back it up as well. Uh, on the extra. So for extra, two Ignister, one Scarlight. Um, this card was iffy in testing. I, I would have cut it for, we weren't playing Dweller, so I, I, after today I probably would have cut this for Dweller. Um, but we sided this out and put in Karen Gorgon game two um, against everything pretty much 
because we tied him to the floodgates. So I'll, I'll get to that in a sec. Uh, one Omega, one Stardust. You'd uh, you make just floodgate plus Stardust game two, and um, just pretty much win. Like uh, I made anti spell Stardust Karen Gorgon King of the Feral Imps against the Mirror game three uh, once today. I know they're just like I, I, the guy didn't scoop for some reason, but there's just no way to break that. Uh, one Apis. Plays Majestor. This card is also a little iffy, but it, it, I, I really like this card just because it can net you advantage, and then special summoning a Draco from the extra deck is, is pretty relevant sometimes. Uh, one Dire Wolf, I didn't make this card at all today. Um, Ptolemaeus, Diamond, just for Pleiades, Castell, Trapeze, King of the Fair Arms, and uh, just one node. So, side deck, uh, Seal Swarm Roach for. Um, Inferno, uh, Karen Gorn, uh, because, or I'll get to that in a sec. Um, side blocker. I decided this in going second against every deck, uh, just because I was worried about Floodgates and then the mirror match. Going second, you're worried about Nappies. Nappies seems to be a recurring theme here. This is just the, the best card to make in the mirror match. It's just really strong. Um, but I don't want to lose to it. Uh, yeah, and then just... Not too many other people were playing, like, I don't think anyone was playing the amount of floodgates we were playing for the mirror match. Yeah. But, um, people were definitely playing some, some of the floodgates we laid, two dirge or something. And, uh, I don't want to lose to that. So having this, because if, even if they don't have a floodgate, uh, you can use this to call. Like, you, you can still use this card. And being able to pendulum summon this card is really relevant. Um, so, two MST, also going sec going second in the mirror and to out like other decks floodgates and tellers or something. Uh, one system down for um, get Cosmo. Uh, three Iron Wall, Cosmo and Infernoids. Uh, so then the floodgates for the mirror were three dirge, two um, anti-spell. And yeah, pretty much what we what we do is uh, we take out the Scarlight, put in the uh, Karen Gorgon. Because uh, if you have Karen Gorgon plus Dirge, or um, Karen Gorgon anti spell, like they can't make Castell to out the the anti spell, and they can't MST the Dirge if you have Karen Gorgon on field. So that that that's why we we're I, like I, I like this card more in the main than Karen Gorgon because it, it's just like a board clear, which this technique like you have Ignister, but against really big boards, it's really tough to get over sometimes. Um, but, uh, yeah, Karen Gorgon was definitely really good just, just for sliding into the floodgate strategy. And so I felt like Stardust was good enough to main because of, uh, Wavering Eyes. Just being able to play around Wavering Eyes with Stardust was definitely, uh, really strong. And I just really like Stardust. So, yeah, there's the deck. And, uh, see you guys around.